and here's a look at Yago Kalaitis. As Kalaitis has a matchup as we take a look at the top heavyweights. You know, Dominic Brazil sitting right next to us to our left. I know he's chomping at the bit. You have Dillian White, Luis Ortiz, Tyson Fury, Joseph Parker, Charles Martin, Adam Kognatsky, and Wilder Fury, December 1 on Showtime Pay-Per-View. But here we see, and let's go and take a look at our Corona Tale of the Tape. Corona invites you to find your beach. The big boys in action, the heavyweights. One year older is Joe Joyce. The height and the reach advantage in favor of the London product. Ladies and gentlemen, live on FS1 from Ontario, California. Premier Boxing Champions now features 10 rounds in the heavyweight division. Your referee in charge when the bell sounds is Jerry Gantu. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner. He comes in wearing the white and the gold. His professional record, 26 wins, opposite three losses, 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Sachere, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yago Kalaitis. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the black trunks trimmed with the white. As a professional, he's undefeated, five wins. All of those coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of London, England. He is the Olympic silver medalist and tonight makes his debut here in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joe Juggernaut Joyce. And now once again joined alongside by Dominic Trouble Brazil as Joe Joyce. There has been a lot of hype behind him in the UK. Now that he's here stateside, he is hoping to prove to the United States fans that the hype is for real and it should be taken seriously. Yeah, we're ready. in for a good one, guys. Uh, Joe Joyce is a, a big puncher. Uh, he's 6'6", 263 pounds. And, uh, we're going to see an exciting one in this. Well, he trains under Abel Sanchez, who is the trainer of Gennady Golovkin, Murat Gassiev. And they told us that they love the template up there, that all it is is nothing but hard work. Back down on the Taking mouth, on Yago Kalaitis. Last time we saw Yago Kalaitis, he came up short against Michael Hunter. He's in the midst of a two-fight losing streak. He was originally with Freddie Roach, but decided to go back to one of his old trainers. And he said that he wanted to get back to basic fundamentals in boxing. Yeah, he's displaying that right now, you know, working on his toes. I like to see him throw that jab a little bit, though. You know, Iago's got a, 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 some great footwork and he's got a great jab. He actually spent three years of experience uh, in Klitschko camp, so he's used to having a big, strong body in front of him. Uh, uh, not, not saying he's too comfortable right now. You better not get comfortable with Joe Joyce, who has a ton of power. Yeah, I think Joyce was a sparring partner for uh, Tyson Fury, too, also, right? Yeah, he was. Spent some time and now Joyce, he is stalking Yago Kalaitis. Yeah, have you ever been up in that camp in Big Bear? I mean, it's secluded. Some people go a little crazy out there. They want to get out of there. Well, they said they love the solitude. That's a big item for them, is that they love the solitude. Yeah, having that, being out there secluded, being able to focus and just focus on what you got to do at high elevation, prepares you very well. Kalaitis was knocked down to the fifth round and then knocked out all of his losses. His three defeats have been by knockout. And Joe Joyce calls himself the Joe. A big shot by Joyce. You know, guys, for a heavyweight fight, uh, fight this is going at a pretty good pace right now. I'm looking forward to see if this can continue. Uh, Joe Joyce, they are very confident. Their count said they're going to smash Kalaitis to pieces. That's what they were very much proclaiming during our fighter meetings yesterday. Yeah, Kalaitis is on the move. He's really on his bike. Break, See, break, I want to keep that up. Break, break, Joyce is just break cutting now. the ring, just picking those shots. Yeah, jo Joyce has been the, the bigger, stronger guy in there now. He's definitely demanding the, 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 the Kalaitis contingent. What I like is how Joyce is also going to the body. Yes, that's a, a rare thing you see from the big area, especially a guy above 6'5". Kalaitis is throwing back himself. Lago Kalaitis. Training now under Vladimir Kravitz. Joe 
Joyce out of the UK. Ten seconds, ten seconds, ten seconds. Right in here stateside for the first time. 33 years of age, Five. and that ends round one. Welcome back to PBC on FS1. Taking a look back at the last five fights for Joe Joyce, as all of them have been by stoppage. But the one fight that they talked to us about that really stood out, Seconds out. Dominic, is the victory over Lenroy Thomas. They go, Lenroy Thomas is one of those awkward guys, but the fact that they were able to get rid of him quickly really sent a statement to everybody else. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've had the pleasure to share the ring with Lenroy Thomas as well. And uh, he's, a, he's an orth unorthodox southpaw. He does some, some awkward things. And it makes it hard for big guys like myself and like Joe Joyce. Um, but Joe Joyce had, did a phenomenal job and got the KO that night. And for Yago Kalaitis, Robert, what are you hoping to see out of him? Because he's he threw a couple of power shots, but for the most part, there's a big one. Kalaitis! Oh my goodness! I was going to say I'd like to see him uh, settle down a little more and not move so much and work behind the jab. Well, he moved with his head to the canvas. <laughs> and now Joe Joyce is looking to end Kalaiti tonight. Joyce is looking to unload, but back comes Kalaiti. Kalaiti feels he has no other recourse but to fight. His head bounced off the canvas like a basketball. Yeah, sometimes you gotta watch out when you got a hurt fighter in front of you because they just throw for the hills and you might walk into a shot. Joyce with the big left hook. Kalaitis looks like he's on his last legs. Kalaitis visibly hurt. Joyce with the left hook to the body of Kalaitis. You know, you've got an individual as big as Joe Joyce in front of you, 260 plus pounds. Uh, but everything he's punching is, is dangerous. You know, his jab is strong, his right hand is strong. Um, all he needs to do is land and change the game. Break and do, break. Dominic, what impresses me about Joe Joyce is his balance. He gets everything behind his shots, but he's never off balance. Yeah, Joe Joyce does a phenomenal job of keeping himself structured and, and, and core balance is always there. He actually told us that he's, you know, he likes to inspire himself by Muhammad Ali, uh, Joe Lewis, and George Foreman, but tonight he's looking like a combination of all three put together. And he's looking like a bulldozer, that's what he's looking like. Joyce now getting cracked, but he got caught. The left hook, collides, he's in trouble. Big right hand, Joe Joyce is looking to conclude the night of Collides. Big right hand, and another left hook. Joe Joyce is pouring it on. Collides. Collides is literally fighting on sheer adrenaline, it seems like, at this moment. He is taking a pounding here in round two. This is the type of performance you're, you're expecting out of a guy like Joyce making his, his U.S. debut. Kalaitis with his back on the ropes, his face reddened by the heavy leather that he's been eating from Joyce. What an all-out assault by Joe Joyce here in this second round. A massive second stanza for the London native. Here's a shot that sent Kalaitis to the canvas. Beautiful overhand right. Welcome back to PBC on FS1. Heavyweights in action. Joe Joyce and Iago Kalaitis, Abel Sanchez. Hey, let's take, take us through this knockout, Robert. Yeah, set it up. Came in with that overhand right and just landed a big shot. You see it coming. Now, Dominic, you told me in between rounds that you thought that him getting, Kalaitis hitting the canvas might have woken him up. Yeah, definitely. I, I believe so, watching this fight. Uh, Joe Joyce hit him with the big left hook, put him down on the canvas, and, and he got on his head, uh, head and shoulders bounced off the canvas, and I think it actually woke him up. But can he keep Joe Joyce off of him? Because Joyce is smart and calculated with his fundamentals. But Kalaitis just came forward and answered with the right hand. Kalaitis doing what he has to do. He's got to stay on the move. He's got a big guy in front of him. And there's no way he can stand there and fight him. He's got, he's got to box this guy. The one knock on Kalaitis is we saw it against Michael Hunter. We saw it against Adam Kovnatsky. He 
fades. After the fifth round, he starts to fade. And he, if he has any inkling of doing that against Joe Joyce, it could be curtains for him early. Yeah, you said it, Ray. I don't think uh, Kalex can take any round off. He can't take any punch combination off. Uh, he did say he learned a little bit. He feels a little bit stronger since the Michael Henry loss. Um, I'm looking to see him uh, put some punches to him. So. But Joe Joyce, he can't let Kalites assert himself in the fight either because mentally he seemed to be taking a lot out of him in the second, but you cannot allow Kalites, who is crafty, to reassert himself. Yeah, one way or another he's going to run into big shots or tire himself out on the move. And he's moving a lot, moving fast. He's moving like a like a Walter Wick. You know, and, uh, and, you know, spending that kind of energy really uh, drain you out pretty quick, especially with a guy like uh, like Joyce in front of you, who's a bulldozer, and who's power. And, you know, every time he hits you, it, it takes a lot out of you. Minute ten break, left here in the down, third. Joe Joyce, left hook by Joyce. I think uh, Kalaitis needs to continue to move, continue to move but uh, as he's moving during, during his shots, he's, he's going to box him, maybe box him. Big left hook and now Joyce with the left hook down, he goes! That was a shot to the Four, body! Five. Seven, eight, Can Kalaiti survive? It's the second time he's go. been down in the fight. And now Joyce. Now Kalaiti's throwing everything he can in the kitchen sink at Joe Joyce. He said, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out on my shield. Yeah, gentlemen, these, these heavyweights came to fight tonight. Joe Joyce is bringing the power, and Kalaiti is bringing the speed and, and the movement. But, uh, it is a Sunday slugfest in SoCal between Joe Joyce and Yago Kalaitzitz. Round four on the way. Welcome back to PBC on FS1. As you go ahead and take a look, there you see in the corner, Vladim Kravitz of Yago Kalaitis. Dominic, should they be hitting the panic button? Uh, you know, not quite sure. I mean, uh, Iago's done some great things. Uh, I think I like his movement, but he, he's going to be able to do that five, six, seven rounds from now. He, he's got to continue to move, move, and box, box. Um, his jab is working well, but he needs to catch uh, Joe Joyce off guard by continuing to move and stick with his jab. But well, Joe Joyce has put Kalaitis on the canvas in the second and the third round. Well, I think Kalaitis needs to make those moves and fire away and then keep moving. You know, by just moving and moving, he's getting set up to walk into a big shot. Definitely. You don't want to be catching a big shot from a, a guy like Joe Joyce. Um, you know, he, he's 6'6", 260 pounds, and every time he lands a shot, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it tonight, you're going to feel it tomorrow. If you're Kalaitis, he needs the box and stay away, but look at Joyce coming forward. Good leverage, big right hand, a left hook to the body. It's almost a matter of time before this one comes to a close, it would appear. A left hook to the body by Joyce. That's what Kalaisen needs to do. He needs to throw the hand speed. Use that, you know, to pepper him up. Don't try to throw a big shot, just pepper him up and move. I'm with you, Robert. I think Kalaitis needs to continue to move, uh, pop the jab, pop quick speed, uh, get two or three punches off and continue to move. Uh, anytime he finds himself flat-footed, he's in trouble. Big right hand by Joe Joyce. And Kalaitis ties up, but I don't know if Kalaitis has the stamina to keep Joe Joyce off of him. Also, what is impressive is how Joyce is cutting off the ring. Yeah, he's doing a great job cutting the ring off. You know, letting uh, Kalaitis run himself out of gas. Kalaitis is just throwing a shot that uh, I, I, you know, I'm sure his corner recommended was that overhand right. Uh, every time Joe Joyce sticks the strong jab out there, Kalaitis is returning the right hand on the top. Um, you know, the, in the heavyweight division, it only takes one point, so if Kalaitis does land that shot, he might have a difference in training. Yeah, that's the difference about the heavyweight division. One punch could change everything. Huh? Yes. No question about it, especially in the heavyweight division. Joe Joyce with a knockout percentage of 100%. Making his United States 
State's debut. Jabbing on Collides it. Big right hand. That barely missed. That could have been lights out for Collides it. And Joe Joyce has got him exactly where he wants him. He's not in with the jab. He's putting it downstairs. He's putting it upstairs. Uh, with the big right hand is coming. A left hook to the body by Joyce and Kalaiti seems to be fading now. It might be target practice for Joe Joyce. Joyce selective on his shots. Big right hand. Left hook. Kalaiti literally with his back on the ropes. Joyce trying to pour it on. He's literally fighting on with wobbly legs. Speaking with his pupil in a Joe Joyce here in Southern California for BBC on FS1. Joe Joyce has had Iago Kalaitis on the canvas in the third, the second and the third round. Looking to go and try to end the fight here. Yeah, I like how uh, Joyce, you know, started out with the jab, kind of set it up because also too, you can punch yourself out throwing nothing but power shots. Of course, of course, especially as a heavyweight, you know, we don't throw a lot of punches, and we do throw punches that get a lot of weight behind them. Big left hook, and down goes Kalaitis for the third time in the fight. And now, and he's saying that's it. Seven. Hey, look at me. He said that's it. It is over. It's beautiful. Joyce. Beautiful how Joyce uh, set it up with his jab and landed it nice and relaxed and took him out. You know, earlier he was trying to force the punch and land big ones. You know, Vekka is able to move. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 41 seconds of round five for your winner by knockout and still undefeated, Joe Juggernaut Joyce. <laughs>